Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at problem 27 in chapter 21. Chapter 21 is about electric charge and electric field. So there we need to determine the magnitude of acceleration experienced by electron placed in electric field. Right? This electric field we can consider as positive electric field. So it's pointing to the left or to the right, to the x direction. And then we put the electron inside. As we know, electron carries negative charge. So the electric force will oxide with electric field, right? QE. Agree? And as we know in previous, the electric force is huge compared with the gravity for the electron. So in this case, we just consider the net force as electric force, right? So in this one, this force will bring will become the factor to change the motion of electrons. This force, net force, will bring the acceleration. Do you agree? Yes. So from the electric force, we can go one step further. We find the acceleration. QE equal to mass times acceleration. Right? Now, next question, how can we find QE? So Q is given. They tell us it is an electron that is carried one negative charge, so we can write it there. And the electrical field is given at zero. Now you can check your textbook, it's a mass of the electron, right down. In this way, you can get the acceleration. You can see this acceleration is pointing to the negative direction. But now we are done. Now how does the direction of acceleration depend on the direction of a field? At this point, so we can consider. You can see the acceleration pointing to the uh, left, and the electric field is pointing to the right. Opposite direction is because these uh, electrons carry negative charge, right? So this is opposite direction. Thank you.